Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now this video is June's finished pages. Now as you see I've managed quite a few and there is a lot of PDFs this month as well and I've finished two diamond paintings and I've got two on the go as well so I'll show the diamond painting stuff at the end of the video just in case that you're not uh, interested. So first of all I will start off with a whip now the reason that I've not finished this one is I'm doing this as a full uh, colour along so I did do all of the hair let me bring you down a little bit closer I did do the hair on camera for you guys so I'll leave that video up there if you're interested and I use polychromos for this and I plan on uh, doing a separate video on all of the, the flowers and the butterflies and then possibly a video on her skin and then the moon because I'm really stuck with the background on this one. Um, I had a comment saying about cutting out the actual illustration and then popping it onto a different piece of paper once that background was done. But I think with all these little details, it'd take me so long to cut around this and keeping it all in one piece and looking neat and tidy, I think I would really struggle. So I'm just, I'll do a really simple background for this one because I do think that it's not really going to need a, a big wall background because uh, the Tantone paper just makes every single colour pop. It just makes it beautiful. I have done quite a few pages with the Tantone paper this month and you'll see what I mean when I get to them. I have got quite a few that I still want to get coloured as well on the Tantone paper. I did purchase the mixed media Tantone paper on a recommendation and it doesn't fit through my printer and I'm kicking myself, I'm kicking myself because I'm desperate to try that paper so I might have to try and trace a, a simple illustration onto it or maybe try some of my own, my own art maybe, not sure there is quite a shadow today but I thought it would be okay because it's not um, a tutorial, it's just me showing your finished pages I'm filming this very early in the morning so the sunlight is coming this way and I brought one of my blinds yesterday which was fun just before we move <laughs> So the first page that I've actually finished, these are not in any specific order, I do try and keep them in order but as I'm going through the month the books get moved and put on top of others and etc etc. So this is in the Colour in Heaven Gothic Fantasy Special. Now I did do, there's quite a few pages in this one that I want to get finished. I did do this one, I'm going to keep the tags in some of them because I want to show them on Instagram. And I used Distress Ink for the background. Now I was really, really careful, really careful with how much water that I put on that background. And you can see there's a little bit of something there, but it's not too bad. And then the gold that you can see is a Windsor & Newton ink. Now I do believe that this was just a circle, so I went in with the circle. And then I went out the lines a little bit. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. And then added drips, and I think it looks quite nice actually. I use Brute Funa pencils uh, for this and either Prismacolor for the skin or Luminance. None of it is based with alcohol markers, so that is all pencil work that you can see there. That hair was a labour of love. <laughs> it was a labour of love because I think I used three or four different pencils. Um, and I think it was a Brute Funa actually for the hair. I don't know if I videoed any of this, I'm not sure. The gold as well on her. Heart as well though, is all the Winsor & Newton ink, but I think the paper did pretty well considering. Considering, like I said, there's quite a few illustrations in here that I wanna, I wanna tackle. It's a very nice issue. This one, it's probably out of stock now, but that was the other one that I did, and you can see the crinkle in the paper there because I did go a lot heavier. So the difference. So I was being really, really careful with this one really careful. I think it helps as well because I'd actually coloured the illustration and then did the background and posted it the other way around. So that's her. What's her name? Is it Sarah? Yeah, I ain't going to be able to pronounce that. Sarkasanto? No idea, but isn't she pretty? Oh look at a scar as well. I tried to make it look like a really deep scar, like a fresh one. Reminds me of the witch of that, actually. Uh, Camilla, de Eric, de, 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 Camilla de Erico's Pop Manga, The Dragon One. Now I've done this one out of here. I'll just double double check. I've done quite a few out of here. 
already and I did do all of the background on this one uh, on the channel and then I think I did a whip in the chat and I finished off um, the shell maybe I'm sure I did some 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 of the rest of it on on the channel the few of the verses like that now the background didn't turn out as I had I imagined I wanted it to look I don't know why I wanted it to look, but oh, I didn't want it to look like this. I wanted it to really contrast with the turtle, which I do think that it does. But it looks like that there's just a fire in the background because of the colours that I chose. Uh, yeah. Did I use distress blocks with that? Not distress blocks, what am I saying? Not distressing, because I'm losing my turn of thought. I think tense blocks, that's it. I think I use the tense blocks for this background. Um, it's not bled through, but because I was a little bit messy on the edges, you can see, and you can see it has crinkled the paper a bit, but if you have seen that video, you will see that I used a lot of water, a lot of water, and I do like the outcome. And when uh, they dry the blocks, they feel different to watercolour. They do feel different to watercolour. So yeah, there's that my little turtle guy really cute. I've got a Hannah Lynn one that I thought that, I, that I'd completely finished and I've just realised I've not coloured the butterfly or the back of a dress though so that'll take me half an hour to finish but it's more or less done. I based some of it with alcohol markers it was just an easy one. This was from the Hannah Lynn grayscale one but I love how her hair turned out her hair and I give her freckles as well and then the sparkler that you can see and it's on, uh, where else did I put it? Oh it's all on the leaves as well is the Spectrum Noir sparkle pens in all sorts of different colours I thought she was so cute yeah so it won't take me too long to finish her I probably won't show that in uh, next month but just a little bit of colour here and then finish that butterfly off but isn't she cute? just a quick and easy one so that needs to go in a separate pile for my PDFs we have this one, and I forgot the name, is it Rena? Rena, the, P the PDF. You see there? I love how this one turned out. So I just got the Light Fast Pencils, the Derwent Light Fast Pencils, and I fell in love with them. Fell in love with them. I got them on such a fantastic deal. Um, I think they were, you buy the higher pack, the one with more in, and you pay for the one that's lower. So I got I got the 72 set for 120 or 119 by 19 uh, instead of 200 and something, which I think was an absolute steal. And I love these pencils. I've actually been to a, a couple of local art shops near me just to check where does open stock of these because I know that I'm going to use them a lot. And there is nowhere that really does it, but it's not the end of the world because I know the colours that I like. Um, so I could easily just order them offline. There's plenty of places that I could order them offline. But I believe that the whole picture, apart from the hair, I think the hair was polychromos. I was told that these pencils were really nice for her, but I don't like them for her. I do think that they're too soft for her and they, they tend to break. Or it's because I'm so heavy handed. I don't know. But I think I did the goldfish first and I was like, wow. Wow. They were so easy to blend. The layers went down really smoothly. The colours just popped. It they're an absolute blessing to work with. I love them as much as I love my uh, Prismacolor. These beat them, and Luminance as well. I prefer these over Luminance. I prefer these over Holbein's. Any other pencil that I tried, I prefer the Light Fast. So, so I do need to keep practicing with the skin tones because I am a complete newbie when it comes to these pencils and I need to get used to all the different colour combos but it was just a simple one I'm just checking, no alcohol marker on the background yeah I love how she turned out I love like the glassy eyed look I do think she, the eyes look really realistic on this one really happy with that one and then we have um, Christine Karen of course, how did I forget this I'll start by saying I'm absolutely infuriated with myself that I thought it was a good idea to use water again on this paper every single time that I do it I feel like kicking myself I should have just left it with a background like this just pencil work in the background and just left the rest plain and it, of course 
I thought it was a good idea to add July towels to the background and I'm really 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 annoyed with myself because I love the illustration I love the colouring again I used the uh, light fast pencils for this so I was just on a light fast kick once I'd got them I just wanted to use them and absolutely everything um, and then we have lots of stickles in her tail we've even got some in her eyes just a little bit and then some on her crown I think she is absolutely stunning I love this illustration I might colour it again just try it in different colours and then not <laughs> not do a stupid background but isn't she gorgeous I did I can't I can't praise them pencils and you know I know that the price there I know that they're probably one of the most priciest ones out there but I've tried a lot of colour pencils I'm not by any means a professional artist but this is what I like by the loops <laughs> That one is by Christine Karen. I've only got one original art for this month. I've had a very, very stressful last week. has been very, very in incredibly stressful with having my daughter ill again. So having the inspiration to do art has just flew out the window, to be honest. Uh, but I did have one night of doing some galaxies again. And I did enjoy doing these. This one here is such a simple... A mix of colours, it's sminka and I think it's three watercolours but because they granulate so much they just blend together beautifully and they look like they were made to be together then once and then the rest are a mixture of all different I got all my palettes out and just had a mess these ones I can't remember which ones were I just had a good play but I do remember what that one was and then you can see the sparkle if I just move it that is not glitter that is the Renaissance watercolour that I've spoke about quite a few times before on my channel. The chrome watercolour. And I water it down a lot and then just sprinkle it on the page and it gives this sort of effect. I mean you don't have to use this just on galaxies, you can use it on your normal backgrounds. But how insanely cool is that? And that's watercolour. So that's my simple galaxies for the month. And that is... Uh, I think it's Canston. It's a different type of watercolour that I've not tried before. Watercolour paper. And I do really like it. It's a lot smoother than the Archer's one that I usually use. But yeah. I love that sparkle. I just love it. I can't get enough of that. I just love it. I think I've done one more PDF. Let me just check. Yep. One more PDF. Another Christine Karen. Again, I was sensible with this. And I didn't do a stupid background. <laughs> I only finished this, it wasn't last night, it was the night before. And I've used glossy accents on her eyes and on her teeth. And then some on the uh, flowers as well and lots of stickles on her claws. I did wish that I went with a little bit of a dark, either darker hair or kept the hair the same. And went with a darker orange or even brown ribbon. I think that would have stood out a lot nicer. And then the background is just a very, very light layer of pencil, just something really simple. I'd like to say that I'd learnt my lesson from this page. I still love that one more. I, thought, I love that one. I love that one. I think that one might, that might have to be framed. I do have one picture framed in my house and I occasionally switch it up. I always end up going back to it. It's a, let me check, it's a Mario Le Boudet one and she's stunning absolutely stunning <laughs> i'll show you and i'll add it to the clip so you know so you can know what i'm talking about but i might change it for one of these maybe maybe and for this one i used what did i use on this one i think i used light fast for the skin polychromos for the hair and i do believe that is prismacolor looking at the blend on it i do believe that's prismacolor but lots of stickers make her really beautiful and shiner. So I will do that little clip now because I'll end up forgetting. So now that's done, so you should have seen that. <laughs> you should have seen that. We've got three from Mythic World by Kirby Rosans. I've done quite a few, quite a few. I'm making a good dent in this boot now. So I did this first doubles page spread and I, I did this practically from start to finish on my channel. Uh, from colouring the turtle, troll, whatever it's meant to be, to the mountain, to the background. Uh, and then the watercolour, underwater effect. Uh, I think I did all of it more or less on the channel. There was a couple of bits that I didn't do. 
but I hope that you like them videos because they take they take hella long uh, time to film uh, but yeah I used I think the Neo Color 2's wasn't it on the background it was something like that I've slept since and this was right at the start of the month as well and did I use ink tents see I can't remember I can't remember if you want to see all these videos I will have them linked up here they are on a playlist on Colour Belongs on my channel if you are interested but yeah it's a super cool page I like how this one turned out uh, what else have we got there's my whale page I love that one it was so easy to do that as well I started that I think on stream I think uh, I did this one right at the start of the month now this was a complete and utter test page really um, I used, oh, what was it called? Distress. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a distress medium. Uh, paste, distress paste. So if I lift it up, it really, you see it sticking out on the page. It's really unbelievably textured. Right, so if you had, if you went to the beach and you got some sand and it was wet and you rubbed it and it, let's say it dried like, I know, I know when sand dries, it'll just sprinkle off. But you know when you get that gritty feeling, that's what it feels like and that's what it felt like once it was dry. Uh, do not use the heat gun with this stuff, there is a warning on the uh, packaging. So I let that dry and then I went over the top and just added colour to it. You can see some areas didn't pick, pick up the colour but because it was on water I think I got away with it. And then just a simple galaxy background in the, back, in the background. I don't know if I did film, did I film that because that's gessoed. That might have the Daniel Smith watercolour ground on it. So I think I did film that. That was right at the start of the month though. Right at the start of the month. It's just something interesting, something different to do if you don't want to sit there with pencils for days uh, colouring an, an, an illustration. It's just something different. And if I don't have variation in, in my art, I soon get bored. I soon get bored. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, that's Neo Colour 2s. Then we've got... Oh, that page is just completely mixed media again mixed media um watercolor and pencils watercolor and pencils and acrylics and paste and everything everything so yeah that's that page and then we have this one that i did I'd, i ended up having to do this as a time lapse and i did it as a voiceover so i hope that um it was okay i like the background noise in that voiceover you could hear the birds birds and the uh, rain in the background but I did plan on doing this again as a full colour along but I was having issues with background noise dogs neighbour neighbours dogs all the way around neighbours dogs and I, I, I just wasn't feeling it you could, you could see me in the start of that video in the time lapse video getting really frustrated and I completely I just turned it off and I think I had to come back to it a couple of days later and I thought no I'll just have to do it as a time lapse it's one of them things so that is on my channel start to finish I did have a bit of a whoopsie with this area I added so much water that the Karen markers didn't just bleed through they literally <laughs> left an indent on the back of the page now I'm not too fussed I've got a second issue with this book this book is available on Amazon for five pounds and if I get enjoyment out of chucking loads of water and paint and acrylic and paste and whatever the dog's hers and stones, whatever. Uh, if it brings me enjoyment for five pound, I'm willing to pay that. Um, but yeah, that is on my channel uh, as a time lapse, and I hope that, like I said, I hope that you enjoy it because I, I really enjoyed doing that um, voiceover. It was a, a nice change, a nice change. And the very last colouring page that I've done this month is technically a cheat. I was going through all my Anastasia Cold Viva books yesterday, actually. And I wanted to pick a page out to start last night. And I won't talk about last night. I won't talk about last night. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't start one. But I did come across this page that was three quarters finished. God only knows why I didn't come back and finish this. I have no idea. The hair was done. The background was done. The skin was done. Everything was done. Now the only thing that I've got left to do is some of these little beads. I did the owl and I've done all the feathers. I just need to do all these beads and I'm saving this because I'm planning on filming a whip of the week this week and this is going to get finished. So I thought I'd include it here because the only colours that are missing are a couple, these couple of beads. I might use a bit of a gel pen, just something simple. 
or I might go completely over the top with pencils and do loads and loads of shading. I don't know, I don't know, but I wanted to include it in this month's because it is practically finished. Oh, and a nails, and a nails. So that is all the colouring pages. I need to keep that separate. Uh, that I've done this month but if you want to carry on watching then I'll show you all of my damn paintings that I've been working on so this is the very first one that I'm currently working on and this is from Craft Ease. you might have seen a unboxing to this and I've done you nearly know, all of this at the bottom I've just got a arm to finish and this is actually like glow in the dark it is so so cool um, I don't expect to finish this in a week week and a half two weeks I am filming parts of it but yeah she's uh, really lovely to work on and this one is by Crafty Ease and then I have this little guy isn't he cute this is just a partial from Diamond Dark Club and this one is a 41 by 41 this really did not take me long it took me less than three or four days of working on it like I said when when I'm having stressful days and nights, it's been nice and relaxing not having to pick colours and just working on something like this. Um, I think this probably will be the only partial that I'll do. For the price of it, I would have liked it to be, to have been a full um, diamond painting, but I do like the, the outcome of that, but that this will probably be the only uh, partial that I ever do. Now this one is a big one, this one is 56 by 74 and I did actually start this a couple of years ago when I first started uh, diamond painting and I finally came back, I mean I only had about this much done, I think it was most of the green area that you can see was done so I actually finished the rest of it. I did mention this in last month's finished pages because I had the centre area to do and she is done, she is complete so she can be packed up now and um, put with all the rest of my finished pieces that I'm not hanging on but look how sparkly I forgot to mention as well that that little hedgehog was a square now this is a square again I do prefer the look of a square but I find them a little bit more challenging than a circle and I get through the circles a lot quicker but she is just beautiful absolutely beautiful I do just need to quickly talk about this one again and this is the butterfly one that I did. I did go around the edge and paint it black and then put a layer of silver acrylic over the top. Now I do need to go over with a second layer, you can see I was a bit patchy there, but I just go around and the top as well. I just need to go over with a second layer and there's some black showing there. And I've done that because this is going to my mum. She did try and find a frame online for it and she couldn't find one. So I said, you know what, instead of me cutting it off, I'll paint it, what colour do you want? I was hoping that she'd say gold, because I've got a million and one gold, and she said silver, which I've only got one. <laughs> so I had to water that silver down, because I didn't have much of it, but I'm going to have to sadly go over with another layer before I can give it to her. But I thought I'd mention it now, because this is the last time that I'll be able to show you on uh, camera. And this is the very last one that I want to share with you. This is what I've worked most on this month, diamond painting wise. Uh, and it's the Mandy Manzalo one. I do really, really like her art. There is no ABs in this one, which I was quite surprised about. But I do have loads of ABs left over from other kits. So I think in these areas where it's just meant to be white, I'm going to add a white AB instead. So I've managed to do a good section down here mostly of a tail and I started working at the top that's what I tend to do with the bigger ones I'll work at the bottom, work at the top then I'll work at these sides and I will save the centre part for the very last but that's all the diamond painting stuff everything that I've been working on this month and I hope that you enjoyed the video please do let me know, let me know in the comments which was your favourites whether, whether it was a diamond painting or one of my pieces of art please do let me know please subscribe if you're new and leave me a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye